The Send Keys method of the Web Element class allows you to pass in a sequence of characters. So far, we've passed in a single string. However, you can pass in other characters as well, such as backspace, tab, the function, shift, and alt keys, any keys on your keypad. Let's look at how to do this now. In here, we're going to click on this key presses. And in here, I want us to enter a normal character and then let's press the backspace button. And you notice there that it says you entered backspace. So let's just write a test that will enter those characters into this field and verify the result. So of course we need to make a new method that clicks on the key presses. And the return type of this is going to be the key presses page. So we'll need to create that in a moment. And this will call click link, passing in key presses. And then we'll return this new key presses page and give it the driver. So let's create this new page. Of course, this goes in the framework. So let's go ahead and set up our web driver and our constructor that takes a web driver. Okay, we know we want to send some characters into that input field. So let's go ahead and get the locator for that field so that we can create a by object. So we'll inspect this field and we see it has an ID of target. Great. So we'll make a by, call it input field and set that equal to by ID target. Okay, so let's create a method to set the characters inside of this input field. So we'll do element pass in the input field, then say send keys. And this method should take a text. So let's see, give us whatever it is you want us to pass in and we will Go ahead and send it over. The other thing we need to do for our test is be able to get this. So let's inspect that. And we see here this has an ID of result. So let's create a by object for that and then also a method to return this string. Okay, now let's write our test. So we'll go to the test section and we'll create a new package and we'll call this one keys. And inside of here, let's make a new class and we'll call this one keys test. All right, and we're going to extend from base test Let's create a test and a method. We'll call this one test backspace. And so we'll say, give us the key page by clicking on the key presses. And then from there, we want to say key page dot enter text, right? So let's give it some text. So let's just say a. And then let's say after the A, we want to actually do the backspace. Well, how do you enter the backspace? Of course, you can't just do a backspace um, that's not going to register. So what we can use is this class in Selenium called keys and see that this is right in the Selenium package. And you can use any of these. We see the backspace right here. There's alt, add, arrow, down, left, right, and up. There's cancel and clear, command, control, desmo, delete. There's so many different keys here. There's the enter key right there. There's all of these functional keys. So F1 through 12. There's help, home, insert. You see there's multiple keys to select from. So let's go ahead and do the backspace. And then we want to verify that that result has backspace there. So let's do an assert equals. And we'll say 
key page dot get result and we'll compare that to a result here so we see here this is the text we copy this and paste it into our test and let's make sure that this works beautiful so that worked great okay so let's go back to our web application and look at another example so let's say that we actually wanted to type in a special character like maybe the pie character so we could do that on the keypad using alt and p at the same time on mac that's option and p at the same time and we see there that it has created the pie character so let's see how do we hold down multiple keys at the same time in our framework let's actually go back to the key presses page we're going to make a new method here to enter the pie equation so let's call this enter pie and this one is actually going to call the enter text that we have there and it's going to pass in the equation so here we can do keys dot and we can use this chord method so the chord method will allow us to send in multiple keys at one time and so we can say we want to do keys dot alt that will also work as option on mac and we want to send the character p so with both of those that will enter the pi but let's say we want to do more we want to say pi equals 3.14 so this chord this will do both of the keys at the same time but then we want to send in another string so that we'll say equals 3.14 so after it does alt p then it will type the rest of this in our test we're just going to make a call to that one so let's say test pi and we'll do the key page object again and this time we're going to say key page dot enter pi so let's do a breakpoint here and make sure that it actually enters pi. Okay, so before we actually enter anything, we see that there's nothing here on the application. Let's go inside of this method and we'll allow it to enter this text. So again, it's holding down the alt and the p at the same time to make the pi symbol and then it's going to continue on by adding equal 3.14. So let's see, do this much. All right, now let's look at the application. And beautiful, we see that it did indeed enter the pi symbol as well as the rest of the text. For your optional exercise for this chapter, I'd like you to click on the horizontal slider link and you'll see this numeric slider here. You're going to send keys to this slider until it gets to the number four. And then you'll verify that this text actually equals four. To actually move this slider, you'll just need to send some arrow keys to the slider itself. So send enough of those arrow keys to get to the number four. Good luck.